Viewer discretion is advised. Your fave will be criticized. That's Chris. That's Shan. Welcome to CCTV, the nonstop pop show. And it's time for a round of Is It Boppin' for the K-pop releases of September 2022. If you're wondering who we are, Chris and I have a huge range of experience in the music industry from performing on stage to working at record labels. So we have a lot of insight into this crazy music industry. So come join us on Patreon so you can talk about it a little bit more in depth with us because we have so much fun on our Patreon. And you can follow us at patreon.com slash Pops. And shout out to our crew members, Lisette, Lily, and Emily. Yes, Woo! and thank you to our crew and also for the people that follow us on our socials for voting in our polls because you helped us decide which songs to include in this episode. And we will discuss four of K-pop's biggest releases in September of 2022, which are Same Scent by One Us, Dice by Nmix, Brand New by Shuman and Fire by Exit. But don't worry, I know NCT 127 is missing from this. We are saving that for a very special NCT 2022 pop-off towards the end of the year, so be ready for that. <laughs> but yes, let's get into it and find out if these songs are bops or flops. This is Is It Boppin'? Here, we listen to the songs and discuss the production, lyrics, videos, and everything in between. So let's find out, do we have bops or flops? Up first, we have One Us with Same Scent. I'm not sure if anyone saw me sniffing, but I was sniffing while you were announcing them. Was, my sign language for each of these songs were like terrible. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> so, Same Scent is a song done by Lee Sang-ho, So Young-bae, Lee Ho-sang, Koo-sang, oops, sorry, Park Hyun-kyu, Robin and Lido of One Us. We have a lot of hands in the pot of this song. So let's see, uh, is, is the scent scenting? Is the, is the aroma beautiful or is it meh? The production hook is nice in this. I kind of like how it's ethereal and kind of atmospheric. I think for a song that's about a smell, I think you do kind of need that vibe, right? So you do need it to float, which I think this does float. Yeah, um, but it's interesting because it is a tropical song. Like there's a very tropical moments in it in the production, and that's just an interesting choice just for the time. And and I don't know, it's an interesting way to approach that. Um, I don't hate it, but yeah, um, I do feel like the song does rely on the production a lot, though. Like the actual vocal melodic hooks are just like they're okay. You know, it really relies on that synthy thing that happens after, for the chorus. Um, and yeah, I, I, I like that the final chorus is a little different. There's a special hook in there. Um, so at least there's a nice build to it. But yeah, not my favorite Wanna song. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I agree with you in the sense of like the production. Uh, I, I did notice that I guess like the hip hop, like the prior song was it bring it, bring it on the hip hop grime light thing that they were trying to do yeah. was not the direction that worked out for them because this is not a follow-up to that right um and i guess maybe because it's fall they're going with this kind of i don't know i don't know because tropical does not make sense in the fall time but that that's one of those things where it's like we're going to record it in the spring or some other date and then release it later it's like uh time's already passed that's what it kind of feels like for me um would have been kind of cute for the summer maybe uh it's getting a little cold out here in new york <laughs> but yeah i mean production wise i'm not a huge fan of trop anything um it, right. it, it takes a, a really good likes like out not outlandish but it takes something to really stand out for me to be like yes thank you for not reinventing the wheel but at least covering it in platinum or diamonds yeah. or gold this here just feels like all right let's throw on some loop we found on splice or you know arcade or whatever the heck other looping thing that they could find um the dance course isn't a bad thing but i wish we would have gotten something more melodic for the chorus like vocally speaking or maybe just more legato Maybe not because a melody is like a da, 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 da. I get that. I get that. But maybe more legato. La, da, da, vocally speaking. Mm. Um, I'm not a fan of that pitched brassy synth thing. That bah, 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 mm -hmm. I don't, that's just me maybe. But the guitars are nice. Yes. The tropical part of it is not terrible. I think as a whole, percussion wise and the guitars and the bridge made it for a nice song. Um, but the riff the bah, 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 is not outstanding enough for me to like latch on and be like, well, this is, this is really good. Mm -hmm. It's enough for me to say like, oh, it's like a, a 
production that in my ear. Um, but you know, speaking of how the vocals played along with the song that eh eh eh, you know, the my body wants you eh eh eh, and mm -hmm. remember your scent eh eh eh. I think that's a nice tagline, but like you need to have something to build on it. Like I feel like with all these people in this group, with all these vocalists actually in this group, like actual vocalists, they could have given us something, given us, excuse me, something with the with the harmonies in that chorus, you know? Mm. Especially if it's a song like this, that's like all sad and somber and sweet mm -hmm. and sexy at the same time. It's just, you guys have done so much more personally, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, one of them sounds like he has Satan's big vocal cords. I don't know, know his name, the rapper. He's like, I like him. Yeah, I think he he's, is good. that Raven or Lido? One of them, right? Might be Lido. Yeah. Lido. Um, yeah, see, yeah, he, like he has one of my favorite tones as well, actually. It's it's mm -hmm. it's a nice difference from the rest. Um, yeah. I would say, actually, I think they do have a nice balance of vocal tones overall, actually, in this group. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. for what it was, I agree. I mean, I always love harmonies, and that that's lacking in K-pop in general now anyway. Um, but mm -hmm. for what they were given, I think they actually do a really good job executing it. It sounds mm -hmm. very sweet. It sounds desperate at times. Um, mm -hmm. And there's an airiness to it, which, again, makes yes. sense, given that we want it to float, and it's about... A smell so um I, yeah i think they did a good job vocally for what it was i think the song yeah. itself just wasn't that strong so so they did what they could with it there <laughs> mm -hmm. um but yeah what did you think of the lyrics i mean uh, the uh, the whole idea of a scent i think that's a really that's a good inspiration i guess to start right so yeah. for me reading the translation yeah. it was quite poetic of course um but what did you think of the lyrics you know, I love, I love, like, the whole, like, you know, Teen Top had a song called Don't Spray Any More Perfume yes. when they were cheating on the, yeah, you know, things, songs like that, right? Um, and you're thinking, oh, my God, because the sen scents bring up a lot of memories. They kind of trigger certain things in people. Mm -hmm. um, I know for me, like, if I'm talking to, <laughs> talking to someone, if I'm, like, <laughs> if I'm soaking this on for a while and I've worn a specific perfume, if it doesn't end well, most of them don't. I don't ever use that perfume again because I don't want to be reminded of how I smell during that time. And like, that's it's just interesting with certain things like that. Or maybe a scent reminds you of home if it's warm, or a certain scent reminds you of Christmas. Oh my God, pumpkin spice. Oh my God, cinnamon. And things like things like that, right? Um, I, I like the sappiness of the lyrics. It's fall time, cuffing season, and lonely boy autumn is upon us. Is lonely boy autumn a thing? <laughs> no, honey, it needs to be. I love lonely boy autumn. Like, trauma would have fit perfectly right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out oh, to Lily, Lord. our crew yes. member. But yes. yes, I love sentimentality in songs, and they're weeping. I love when I love weeping when men weep in the autumn. It's like, <laughs> please give that to me. I'll I will warm you with my heart. You know, I like I like sentimental boys in the cold winters and the and the the cool autumns. You know, sure. You know the songs. The songs are like just more sweet. I like romance. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? So, oh yeah, sorry, my bad. I was so wrapped up in this, these lyrics and whatnot. I will say this though, because the song is super sad, I was expecting the video to be a little bit more like darker and not so warm in certain sections. Yes. Like there were some creepy moments like with the hand being, you know, hands grabbing lead dough, I think. But like overall, what do you think of the video? Um, The video didn't really do it for me. I, I think because of how kind of like sexy and kind of, a mix of desperate but also sexy, I guess, the whole song <laughs> is. Um, I wanted that as kind of the vibe of the video, and that's mm. not what we got. Mm. Um, when it started <laughs> off in the house, I was like, okay, this makes sense. They're like reminiscing about this person and this smell, and they'll yeah. be in different rooms of this house. And I kind of liked that. But then they end yeah. up in like an industrial basement, you know? Um, <laughs> And it's kind of like, like I, yeah, I don't really get the industrial aspect of it because that's like, mm -hmm. those usually smell very sterile, you know? I'm crying. So, it, I'm so if it's supposed to be about, <laughs> well, no, because it's all metal, it's all metal where they were. They weren't in some, oh. you know, it's industrial. This wasn't some like moldy basement. This was like a metal. Like my house, right. It's like a metal office yeah. basement, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so that's why it just doesn't make sense to me because the whole point is mm -hmm. you want that kind of warm, um, I don't know, just more like, can, more personal smell. Like, I don't know, that's what this is about. And it's so industrial, this video, which I don't really understand. Um, I do like the dance mm -hmm. scenes with the pool of water because the water always looks cool, right? 
but it doesn't yes. fit. It just doesn't yes. make sense with this song. Like it's not like they're dancing in mean? a bottle of perfume or something. They're dancing in a in a in a pool of their tears. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I doubt that. I'm trying. I'm reaching. I wanted more reaching. like perfume or like flowers Ooh. or like, I don't know, things that you make, because you know, 4D videos don't exist yet, but like get as no. close to that as you can. You give me visuals that will make me think of smells, you know? You're right. Incense, smoke, the, the smoke from yeah. incense is always beautiful. You know? Yeah. Kind of like a smoky kind of thing. That would have been great. It would have been yeah. on the nose, but would have been like, wow. Yeah. But I, I think you can be on the nose. If a song is called yes, you can. Same Scent, you know, you can be very yes. on the nose with that. You might as well go all out with the yeah. concept. Go, go in the nose at this point. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, one thing I will say about the video, though, is during the solo shots, which were very dis isolated. I hate when they do that too, too much. Mm -hmm. And it just doesn't make sense as a cohesive story because everyone's just by themselves in a nice room. Um, but I do like the softness of the scenes. I think there was a combination of a lens filter and post editing, which I really do uh, appreciate because it makes it look warm. Maybe they're thinking about how they were happy with this person. So I think that kind of fits. Those are highlights. Yeah. Uh, yeah and the water scenes are good. Again, Monster X, Alligator in the water um, and black dancing in water. I'm always here for men stomping in water. One thing I don't really understand is how the choreography fits with them on the floor dancing through this water. I wanna see scenes <laughs> of them doing the chorus choreography <laughs> on the floor in this water. Because I mean, the dance is like, I mean, it's not bad. It's nothing too, too complicated. I think, I just think it's really funny how like <laughs> with a certain tropical part of it, there's one dancer in the back. I don't know who, which member this is. He's dancing so hard. You would think that Rents do. Like he was dancing so hard. You can see it in the video. No one else is dropping his head but him. He's like, bah! literally within the first like several eight counts of the song, he's the first one going ham. Um, there's some smooth moments in the chorus. The, sorry, the chorus. The second verse that I like. Like they flow together really nicely. A lot of glides here and there. There's some really cool fo footwork in the chorus. But I just the floor work. I that's a lot and for them to come back up and arch their back at the same time it's a lot um mm -hmm. the tear wiping though that part of the yeah you know, the, the with the knee, knee pop with the knee pop thing with the yeah the knee jerk knee in and out yeah, yeah yeah you can call it a pop that's nicer than me calling it a jerk because it was very much like for yeah. me i just couldn't like it was yeah, just, yeah yeah pop sounds nicer than what i was thinking but um but yeah how did you feel about the choreography and the performance i feel like they've done a, like a pretty decent job but they've had more clever more interesting choreography in my yeah opinion, in the past. well i i went to their show here in new york mm. earlier this yes. year and they were great I, I kind of knew i found out i was going literally like an hour before it and, and um <laughs> uh, so I went in with no expectations or anything, and they really impressed yeah. me. And it's it's still it's still one of the better shows that I've seen this year of kind of these smaller these smaller groups. Um, mm -hmm. But this song, this choreography is a great example for me. That's interesting. You said that it's not that complicated because this is this is crazy choreo. It is so fast. <laughs> it is so yeah. fast, and like we yeah. have been saying yeah. this whole time, this song is not that intense. You know, it's a very mm -hmm. pretty song. Why is there choreo one yen a two yen a three? Like it's so ridiculously oh, yeah. okay, yeah. fast and difficult <laughs> yeah. for no reason, um, and it just doesn't make sense right. to me. Like I appreciate there are a few moments where they do like smell their wrist, you mm. know, and. I appreciated that, but then the rest of it has nothing to do with anything, you know? Um, yeah, I mean... I just think the whole thing could have been, like, way more sensual. Like, it just yeah. doesn't match the song to me. Like, all like they execute it yeah. well. Don't get me wrong. They execute it well. Mm -hmm. Like, the floor stuff is crazy, like you said. Like, good for them. But, like, it just doesn't yeah. match the song, and it's unnecessary. I just don't understand. Uh, <laughs> so I'm that's crying. where so my funny. thought is. I was watching a couple of their performances, and, and some of them, mm -hmm. they're wearing suits, like with multiple mm. layers and you can tell yeah. it's like restrictive like this choreo is crazy yeah. like uh, i don't know i don't understand not me saying it's not complicated that's <laughs> that's not the word i want to say here but <laughs> <laughs> whoops but yeah i agree i i recant my statement about it not being complicated it is i don't know what the word i wanted to use was but i like the maybe pictures, you just mean like visually like visually it's not anything like Crazy. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I saw some, like, when I first saw the first formation, I was like, okay, it's a flower or whatever. Okay, whatever. You know, it wasn't like, oh, wow, like, they had to switch formation. It wasn't, like, that kind of complicated. Right, 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 right. Heck yeah, but, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Overall, though, um, I have to say, like, I'll remain on the periphery of this group. They are not terrible, and their sound isn't consistent for um, it isn't consistent enough for me to like latch on right now. Mm. Um, like, I don't know what their thing is, which could be a good or a bad thing. But if you're gonna sit there and you know weave yourself through different genres, you got to come hard with each one and have each song that's in that specific genre that you're approaching be good or at least great um but yeah for now um it's not it's not like the strongest so i'm gonna give it a 7.5 what about you yes uh i am obsessed with luna still i think Mm. that song was one of the best boy band songs last year um Mm. so yeah this doesn't match that for me um but i am rooting Mm. for them it seems like the song has won a lot actually on the music shows they got quite a few wins for this song so good for them sad by autumn let's go (laughs) um yeah so that's interesting to me um but i'm glad that their fan base is growing and yes i will match you with the 7.5 that's Lonely Boy Autumn right there, man. Sometimes you got to just shake it up with Lonely Boy, Lonely Boy Autumn. I think it's more <laughs> so of... they just didn't have any competition in those few weeks, but sure. No, this is not. This is, this is... <laughs> Dang! All right, so the next track we're doing is Dice by NMix. And this one was done by Dr. Joe, Jam Factory, Danka, Cha Lee Rin, Zaya, Park Ji Hyun, and Beck Se Im. So nice. we had a lot of feedback on our past two and mix episodes, <laughs> um, you mean and we weren't the most positive in either of those. So, what were your expectations going into Dice, and what do you think of it? I've been told in the past that I'm quite optimistic, and I'm I'm learning to just accept that I am. All right, all right off the bat, I want to say I had hopes for this song. I did because yeah. I thought. There's no way they're going to make the same mistake twice. (laughs) Boy, was I wrong. (laughs) So, I mean, the big band concept hasn't been visited in K-pop for a really long time, at least for like a big group, right? We love a good big band, especially if it's it's good, right? I mean, there's brass and there's percussion, et cetera, that could be worked with. I mean, it's jazz. Like, it's pretty much, it is what it is. Like, you can't go wrong. And yet, somehow, oh, (laughs) Jesus, Christmas, somehow it did. Um, right off the bat, it's <laughs> aggressive, which isn't terrible, right? Like, Kyujin leads it off, uh, which is not terrible. I mean, the song wants you to be jarred, for sure. I mean, going from, like, this big band sound in the beginning and then kind of, like, chilling it out a little bit where it just sounds like this cool groove while someone's rapping, that's clever. And even in the pre-hook, it just gets quieter. Mm. And then all of a sudden, you're back in there, and the chorus is like, bah, bah, And I'm like, okay. Um, but um, then all of a sudden you get the change up that no one asked for. That sounds like some very like, you know what? There's Chex mix, there's trail mix, there's munchies in a bag, okay? They all have a hodgepodge of mixtures, but the flavors make sense. The sounds that were mixed in this song make absolutely no sense, <laughs> like whatsoever. And I don't even want to give it the, 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 the opportunity to find out what key it's in. I don't care anymore. It just doesn't sound good. Like, And then on top of that, they announced the change up. Like it was like, <laughs> like it's morphing time. Like you don't, don't. <laughs> you, I felt like I was watching an episode of Power Rangers, the Japanese dub of Sailor Moon, and we had to wait for them to transform in order to get to the actual good stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying, where the villains just sitting there watching Sailor Moon or like the villains are watching the Power Rangers? <laughs> right, but in those That's cases, at least, like. the, at least the transformations are fun. <laughs> they are. This one was just like... <laughs> like, like, as a separate song, right, I can say... This song could have been hot. That I thought that was hot. It was cool. But like in the song, no. And also, I remember sitting here listening to the song for the first time and I was tripping out because when you listen to the full album, the the mini album, and you listen to the instrumental, it is mixed so bad. Someone hates them. Someone in JYP, <laughs> the squad subsidiary, does not like this concept. They are purposely sabotaging this group. Why the hell would you compress this so badly and then send it to the masterer? Who's supposed to, there's nothing you can do with it. So then the vocals are super blare. You know what? I'm going to get off my soapbox before I throw it <laughs> at whoever mixed it. Chris, what did you think of the production? Because I'm just <laughs> Well, no, I, I, I agree with you <laughs> on the mixing. I mean, I think we were texting about it, right? Um, yes. And I thought the same thing. The first time I heard it, 
um oh i was like okay the vocals are really forward um yeah which i was a little confused about strange artistic choice for sure to make That's it not... sound mm. that um muddled i think it just makes it sound very yeah. muddled yeah it was so compressed it was so bad i get it. it's yeah. a big band you have a lot of like horn thingies but there's a way to mix Especially yeah. if it's live instrument or like a sim a sample of some sort. I don't think it's a sample, but no, they were actually okay. Geez. What I will say, I was happy to see that they use real horns. Horns, like there right. are horn players that are credited here, which is nice. Okay, um, but, so I'll oh give I'll God. give it that. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I was not as optimistic going into this as you <laughs> were. I had read in some interviews that they had mentioned that this whole idea of the change up is going to be their thing, like moving forward. So I knew going no. into this that it was going to have one of those again, you know? So I was already kind of like, uh, going into it. Um, but you know, I feel like these girls have a lot of potential and I was like, I hope for them that they did get something better. Um, in this case, mm -hmm. to be fair, I do think it's better than OO. But not by too much. Uh, not by too much. Yeah, I think, um, so. yeah, yeah, okay. I think my biggest complaint yeah. with OO was that um, there were no melodies, you know? Like the melodic choices <laughs> yeah, were just right. horrific. And at least this one has yeah. some melodies in it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Yes. So I'll take that. I actually do like the pre-chorus. I think the melody in that is nice. I like the tension of it. Yeah. Um, so I'll give mm -hmm. them that. <laughs> um, in terms of the production, though, even without the mixing talk of it, the whole kind of trap beat with the low bass mm. synth and then the mm -hmm. kind of random haunting, like distorted things that happen around you <laughs> are a little <laughs> weird. And then in the change up, the whole, the electric, the electronic like blips and bloops that happen around too are also mm -hmm. just like a little weird. Like none of it seems to be done in a way that it's like, oh, this sounds really good. Like, it's done in a way where yeah. it's like, ooh, let's make this, like, weird. Yeah. You know? Like, that's what it almost feels like. Yeah. Like, they want to be kind of weird, which I'm not totally against. I'm just, this just isn't for me, I guess. Um, Bjork is weird. This is disjointed. Yeah. <laughs> this is, Bjork is weird. Like, um, she's weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, continue. And then, Sorry. yeah, the whole change-up thing... I <laughs> more for time. Like, <laughs> there has to be a better way to do it than that. There has to be. I, I just I just don't understand. Like... I, I would like all producers <laughs> out there listening to try and, and make their own transitions and see what they would come yeah. up with. I think that would be a fun challenge. Um yeah. because they are out here. Yeah, the first one with the change up and then the second one with the great crazy in love Beyonce riff. <laughs> Whoa! I'm freaking dead. Um, oh my god! Oh, both were terrible <laughs> both transitions. Go, yeah. Like, uh. um, yeah, I will like say ours. though, shout out to the it's live version with the live band. Um, I'm never mm -hmm. a fan of how they mix the vocals in those performances because I still overly process them. But the band sounded really yeah. good. I think having the depth and live drums really helped the song a lot, and it made me like it a bit more. Actually, hearing that mm -hmm. version, so mm -hmm. shouting that out. But um, what did you think of the vocals? Uh, vocally speaking, I can see how some of these girls could have been like an itsy mm. and how some of these girls were not supposed to be an itsy. Like you we were like, we're <laughs> going to make a vocal group mm. as opposed to like a rap group. Right. So it's like, um, Kijin sounds like very similar to region or Ye uh, Yeji, which isn't bad. Like they just kind of rap like this, you know, the, the, that singy rappy thing, yeah. um, which isn't bad, which isn't bad. Um, she sounded decent enough. And the other girl whose name I cannot remember, oh my God, I feel so bad, but she also raps in the second part, the big wave, big yes. wave. She takes, the, she takes the other half of that, which isn't bad. Um, the pre-hook sounds good with Sully Yoon and Haewon. The, the, and the, I'm not gonna sing it, I'm not gonna do it. They don't sound bad. I I, I did like it. Sully Yoon's kind of, uh, Sully Yoon? Uh, Sully Yoon? Is it Sully Yoon or is it Sully Yoon? Student, whatever that young sweet girl who's like a princess in this group she her tone gets a little nasally like she kind of like hits the top of her range sometimes but i think that's just how she sounds but it doesn't sound bad lily i get that she can sing but it's getting to this point where they're just having her shout because she can yeah um like uh, they're gonna die. Yeah. yeah it just mm, it's like literally use the most power you have 
Yeah. And just yeah. yell it out. Yeah. I don't appreciate yes. that. Like, we know she can do a lot more than that. And with a proper vocal yeah. producer, she could be a really great yeah. lead vocalist, you Come know? On, and yeah. I, I, I'm annoyed for her that of what yeah. she's been given to do so far. Um, yes. Yeah, I agree with you about Hyojin. I think all her moments actually stand out the most to me. Like, I, I mm-hmm. always try and listen to these songs first before I watch the video, right? So mm-hmm. I... Um, yeah, I, I was I was reading the color coded lyrics and I was like, oh, it's like always her that I like yes. that stand out to me. Yeah. So that's interesting. But I will say that very last laugh that happens, the ha ha, ha the let's roll the dice, ha 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 ha, that laugh is horrible. Like I don't know, <laughs> surely they could have had a better take than that. It's like the most like heartless <laughs> like fake laugh. I don't know. I I can't take it seriously. Um, but what did you think of the lyrics? Um, I mean, Dice, interestingly enough, is about them taking a chance with their career and the challenges and, you know, the, the their plan to mm. go up in success and how much trouble they might face. I mean, when you're sitting there checks mixing and trail mixing and throwing both of those things into, a, into one bag and expecting it to be received well, yeah, you are taking a lot of risk. Like, they were like, let's roll the dice. Yeah, you definitely rolled the dice with this one. Let's see if it sticks where it hits. Um, but, yeah, there's a lyric that says, so what if it, so what if it doesn't make any sense? Boy, boy, the fact that you're aware and you don't care <laughs> worries me. Well, here's the problem is the members probably do care, you know? They do? Like, I think we said <laughs> this maybe last time with the OO review. Like, if I was a trainee and that, oh, and God. these were the songs that I was given, I'd be so mad. <laughs> I'd be so mad. <laughs> Hell yeah. I feel like you and I would like the same thing if we were like trainees together and we're like being either like a co-ed group or if I was a dude or if you were a girl. Like I feel like you and I would just get slotted up into the same thing. If you and I got songs like this, we'd probably both be like, is the choreo at least good? Like, at this <laughs> point, like, <laughs> you know, um, I do a Nadine. Like, I'd just be like, you don't need to give me any parts in this song. <laughs> <laughs> you're a k-pop fan and do not know who nadine is she's part of <laughs> um, girls aloud a uk pop group a brit pop act and she can sing her face off and when you can sing your face off and you've gotten good songs before and you're you just won't participate if the song's bad i hear that <laughs> come on now <laughs> yes um, well, yeah. okay visually though i appreciate it visually i like i said i think these girls are yes. very are very talented and at least visually <laughs> there are interesting moments mm-hmm. in here um i obviously the idea of a dice that always gives you a good visual already yes. and i think they handled it well yes. um my favorite scene is probably when they're playing cards on that little table mm. i think that's a cute scene yes. i like the styling of it all I like the bold colors in it um, mm-hmm. I think all the rooms that they're in also are fun. Um, everything seems well thought out and well staged. Um, yeah. Like just enough strangeness to kind of be like, well, what is happening? But enough to still understand what's going on. Um, and I will right. shout out. So Kyojin for sure, but also Heiwon and Soyun, or however you say mm-hmm. it, Soyun. They so definitely right. <laughs> stood out, have a lot of natural star quality. Um from the performances mm-hmm. as well, which we'll talk about. Like they also seem like national performers as well. So yeah, they're they're getting better mm-hmm. in terms of in terms of that, which I'm happy about. Yeah. So yeah. What do you think? I think the carousel, the dance scenes, the Alice in Wonderland thing, it's it's a lot, but it that made more sense than the song did. You know, like I feel like whoever worked on this video heard the song and was like, Oh, this is some crazy stuff. Um, but they understood what the what was being asked of them. Um, the edit the, the editing the editing in this video is harsher. The zooms, the the cuts, the transitions are fast. It's jarring, but that's the point. It's meant to trip you up. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you think about all the little Cheshire Cat kind of things in there, and then there's a riddle on one of the cards that says like one minus one is none, but what is none minus one? And the answer isn't a number. You look for things like that. Um, there's symbolisms with cats and dolphins and cars and the pirate ship. It's all over the place, but the movements of the videos are so cohesive and it's done so well. Something's spinning. The next transition is into spinning and the cards has like this die formation and there's a, geez, Louise, it's a lot, but it was definitely enjoyable. And I agree, yeah. the people that you shouted out stood out to yeah. me. Which is interesting because a couple of other members from the last video stood out to me. Um, like Jenny um, mm. stood out to me in the last video and 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 they didn't stand out this time or last time. Yeah, that's but, interesting. But uh, Jenny stood out. You know, not a lot of them that stood out completely, but like Lily stood out because, again, she's happy to be there. So she stood out to me. Jenny uh, stood out to me. at in, oh, oh, but this time they kind of fell by the wayside for me. Kyujin stepped up. Sidiyun kind of came through. Hey, Wan, she is a good group, girl group member. 
I feel like vocally she does not belong here in the sense of like what they're doing or what they're trying to do, mm. but she's a good singer. So, and she comes ready to mm. perform. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of performances, uh, this choreography and their performances have been so interesting because you have this very hard hitting choreography, but then you have them dressed up in freaking prom dresses and yeah. or club dresses or like high heels that freaking Haywon almost tripped and died in recently. Like I just, hey. The choreography is fun. It's nice. And there's parts of it that's very lateral. There's a lot of it that gets very lateral leans. There's layouts in this dance where you lean back, but your head is still aligned with your body. Layouts are tough to do when you're singing, tough when you're dancing, especially in big combat boots. Like, come on. So mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a great choreography, but dude, it's a lot. <laughs> what did you think about the choreography and the performances? Yeah, I tried to look at who choreographed it, but I couldn't find anything. So fans, mm -hmm. let us know uh, if you know who choreographed this, because I want to give them credit, because this choreo was right. so good. It's very yeah. dynamic. There are a ton of pictures. I love the ripples. They're all super clean. Um, yes. Even just the simple moment in the pre-chorus, just with them all doing the hips, super effective. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love all the moments of them in the line as well. There's always something right. very powerful about a group just being in one line. Uh, so yeah. yeah, really, really happy with the choreo. Um, but I agree. I was thinking the same thing regarding the costumes because <gasps> not just the big dresses, but even the tiny skirts. Because this choreo yes. is very hip hoppy. It's very you really have yeah. to like get down into it. Like your legs kind of have to be spread a little bit and bent. And when you're in a tiny dress, mm. like. A, it doesn't look very comfortable, but also it doesn't look good. Like you can't execute it no. the way it's supposed to execute, you know? So I find that very right. weird. The stylists and choreographers, or, or who, I guess the artistic director isn't thinking big picture there, I don't think. No. Um, okay. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But I am impressed by the choreography for sure. Just looking at them perform it, you can tell who's connecting to this and who isn't. Um, and that's also going to get into my overall score. Um, they don't all seem like they're really into it as much as it's just like, I got this really cool part. I'm going to perform it because it's my job. Mm. Uh, the verses were not, the verses were better than OO, um, but the chorus doesn't do much for me. Yeah. Uh, the song has potential and there are ways to do mashup sounds in one song without ha without having it sound like you got hacked. You know what I'm saying? Like the song's mm -hmm. like it got hacked. Like, oh, hey, you got hacked. Like, you know, like it's morphing time in the middle of a song. No, nah, Beyonce did it. DJs do it all the time and the mix is trash, six. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Yeah. Um, like I said, it's better than OO for me. Uh, mm. Again, I, I appreciate at least some of the melodies in it. But yeah, the whole change up gimmick. It's, it's tough because <laughs> it's not like they're the innovators of that, you know? Yeah. And I hate that they're speaking yeah. about it as if they are when very clearly <laughs> they are not. And that just annoys me because if you're going to do that, then you have to do it really well. And this worries me for their future because for some reason, their sales are still increasing. <laughs> so I feel no, like this uh... is telling the label that this works. And so I'm expecting even more jarring changes moving forward. And so my expectations are just very low. But anyway, <laughs> I do think it's better than OO, so I will give it a 6.5. <laughs> okay. Up next, we have Brand New by Shumin. And it was done by Kim Hyejung, Dom Dada, and Darius Logan with a credit for Yi Suman, even though I don't think he had a single <laughs> hand in this. Also, he is getting fired. The, 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 <laughs> yes! Oh my God. I'm telling you, he done Kwang Yid the dead. He goes, guys, guys, I got this idea. Get out! <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry to hear that, sir. I, I hope it's amicable. Oh I'm God, hoping it's so just him wanting to retire. He's like, I've done, the, I've done enough. <laughs> You know, like I have nothing left in me. The next thing we're going to do is like outer space. I don't have like, the bandwidth for that. You know, I'm hoping it's that and not like Kwang Yeo is a pushing point for everyone at the company. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could you imagine? I mean, even oh human God. couldn't escape it. There's a mention mention of Kwang Yeo in this video, but we'll get to that. Dang it. That's what I, <laughs> yeah, I yes. Oh man. Anyway, oh, we're both Kwang huge Yeo. EXO fans. So shout out to yes. all the EXOLs out there and Shuman. Uh, this is his solo mm -hmm. debut, which is awesome for him. Finally. <laughs> um, so yeah. what do you think of the song? I mean, it's not Blooming Day. Um, no. But, <laughs> but that's my jam, okay? Oh, yeah. I Maybe. love Blooming Day. Like, oh, my God. Yes. All right. Um, so the chant sounds like very old K-pop. Like the, da, 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 yes. da, 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 it sounds like a 90s K-pop song. 
and the English it isn't does. like fully there either. Like the grammar is all Not wrong. It. So I was like, oh my god! I, at first, I thought it was a sample, but it doesn't look like it is. So. Yes, I think because the genre itself, the, the Miami bass, booty bass, I mean, you hear songs like that, like My Boo by the Ghost Town oh DJs gosh, yes. and like two live crew that, you know, is making a resurgence. It's making a resurgence now in a lot of hip hop and R&B, like with Usher and the City Girls, and then you have Money Long with My Boo. Yeah, yes. that's my baby boo. Yeah, talking to you. That crap like that. It's just a very familiar kind of cadence that comes with it. But then the 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 I don't want to call it English, but it's very Englishy. Um, it doesn't make any sense. It's S M. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. But um, it's it's it's, it's S M doing what's cool, but what makes sense for their brand. So I appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of intricate, Lord Jesus, intricacies in this song that keep it fresh. Um, it's quite bright, but it's also palatable. Um, it was like some of the bass, um, the bass is very wompy, but again, that's that Miami bass booty bass sound. Like they want to kind of push that as like the, the main thing. Like the song is cool, it's hip, and it did feel cool and hip. And Schumann, su not surprised me, but like vocally speaking, when we get into it a little bit more, I was happy that he he slid in nicely. He didn't sound like he was fighting the beat, which I appreciate. He didn't rap. Mm. Oh my God. Because I always try to make him do some weird, no, 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 Don't ever give him like vocal parts. And then, what record is lovely? Like he didn't even have a freaking vocal part in tempo except like backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was okay. I was gonna talk about the vocal, his vocals and EXO as well, because I always felt like he was kind of shafted a little bit. Um, but I think back in the EXO, he was my bias. oh, was he? Yeah, for a little while he was oh. my bias because I was like, oh my god, EXO M is falling apart, and then they all fell apart. I was like, damn. And I was like, well, Interesting. Shuman, I always liked you, cutie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Lil Han was really close to him and called him Val, and I'm like, oh my god, he does like a little dumpling, and I just kind of latched on from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. I will say, I think this song feels very authentic to him. I think as an yes. A&R person, this song mm -hmm. totally works for his personality, for his performance yeah. style. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I appreciated that, that it has this kind of sweeter and kind of lush uh, kind of tone to it. But then the production makes it a little more hard hitting, which I appreciate. Yeah. Um, the bass, though, the bass is interesting because like you said, it's pushed very forward in the in the mix. But the key mm -hmm. of it sometimes almost feels off. Like it almost feels <laughs> like, I don't know, there's something about it where it just, it almost stands out not in a great way in parts of the mm -hmm. song for me. Um, okay. So yeah, I don't know if that might just be me. But uh, yeah, continue with the vocals though. He was always kind of shafted at EXO because obviously he's surrounded <laughs> yeah. by like Chen and Dio oh and Becca Becca and, Dio, like, and then oh he... Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe him and Kai, right? They used to kind of get the same parts yeah. in the Chinese versus Korean. Yes. Version. And yes, Schumann's a much better singer than Kai. He's he's a better yeah. he's better technically. Um, his yeah. tone. They do have a similar kind of nasality to their tone. To be, mm -hmm. I forget. Mm -hmm. Is nasality a, a, a true word? A real word? We've asked that. I've said show. that before, and I was like, <laughs> "Is that actually yeah. a word?" Anyway, yes, I think it is. The nasal <laughs> tone is similar mm -hmm. between the two. But Kai is more nasal than Schumann, and Schumann has a much bigger range and more power than Kai yeah. does. And so I appreciate yeah. that this gave him the chance to show that off a little bit. I think those ad libs at mm -hmm. the end are quite impressive. I'm, I want a live yeah. performance from him. I think he's been lip syncing on the on the performances so far, so I, I would love a live one. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm happy for him that he gets to shine a little bit. I think he tends to fade in the background a little bit, and, and he's kind of just the cute one, the cute shorter one. Yeah. Um, in EXO. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, I'm happy for him that he gets a moment to kind of do what he wants to do. Yes. Yeah. Our little bow. Oh, but you know, he to me, he sounds like a little bit like a pop trained version of Baekhyun. Like if he would sing after like Baekhyun and the CBX songs, like uh, Paper Cuts, I would hear something. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can see why they would put those two together. Like if you're doing a vocal stack, and you're like, we need someone to do the harmonies. Yeah. You get him and uh, Baekhyun to kind of sing together or get him. Yes. He balances it really well. Mm hmm. Yeah, right? Like, he's not, like, as heavy as you know, back in, or like or, like, as soulful as Dio. Right. But he does have a good tone where you're, like, if you need a buffer, you need, like, the yes. harmony doesn't have so much vocal nuance, he's the one to get. Yes, because he's also not as thin. He's not as thin as Suho mm -hmm. and um, yes. Lei. 
So he balances yep. all of it out really well. He kind of sits right in the middle. Yeah. And that's, that's what you want. That's what you need yeah. in a boy group as well, vocally. So. Totally. Totally. Yeah. I mean, if you're building a group, this is great to have. I mean, if you listen to like him in backgrounds, like you have to really listen. That or just like find isolated vocals. But I mean, he would hold it down like in harmonies with artificial love, yeah. tempo, like a lot of those like. Doo -doo 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 he smooths those out mm. really nicely. And it's just like, ah, there he is. So it's nice to hear his voice and his little belty moment really. I was proud of him. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't give him a chance to do it in EXO. And I can understand it. Yeah. Like, the song is big. You need even a, a bigger vocal to sit there and take it to Mars or whatever planet. Like, you need you just go exoplanet. You yeah, need to exoplanet. take it beyond. Mm -hmm. You have to go all the way to exoplanet. Schumann is not the one to sit there and go, ah, you need some, ah. <laughs> you, need, you need that, right? So I totally get it. But I also am very happy for him. Um, and the lyrics of this song, they were, like, pretty much... <laughs> They're a typical debut track that comes from. Well, I feel like I feel like Kai is one of the only ones who didn't get like a typical debut track. <laughs> Everyone else was just like, "Hey, it's me. I'm going to show you a new love. Hey, yeah, it's yeah. you know, let's have some fun." Kai was like, <laughs> mm -hmm. "But again, though, you know? but again, I think that fits Schumann's personality too, because <laughs> exactly. he always seemed kind of like totally. that very kind of personable, just kind of like cuter kind of the guy. approachable one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so um, cute. yeah ah, speaking of Exoplanet. I've always loved yes. the whole superpower lore that EXO had. Um, <laughs> and they yes. do bring it back in this one, which I love. He has his ice mm -hmm. powers in this. So I, I loved that in the video. Yeah. And I think overall the video is cute. It fits the song. I like yes. the whole concept of the truck and the giant present and him being in the present <laughs> and, and all of yes. that. And, and yeah, I think they did a good job with this video. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, he's not ever been one that I thought had a ton of star quality. I think because he kind of right. embodied that like cute, relatable one in the group. And so he <laughs> wasn't like Kai where it was like, oh, my God, he's a superstar. You know, um, right. I never got that from him. Um, but right. he actually impressed me with this video. He kept my attention and, and he, mm -hmm. he holds the camera's like gaze well. So, yes, yeah. he does. What did you think of the video? I mean, it's been a, it's been it's been about ten years now uh, <laughs> since he debuted. It's been eighty four years. years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I th I th but I thought the old lady threw it at the the water at the bottom of the, the what at the bottom of the ocean at the end of the movie. Yeah, but I went down there and picked it up and brought you Schumann's confidence. Like that's what happened. Like you, all those years, ten years of cultivating it, his his <laughs> his image being pushed to the bottom of the ocean. He's out like. Here I am. Here's my special delivery. And I appreciate it, um, the video for him being like the Schumann Express or whatever they called his little <laughs> packaging company. But like my uncle From used to Kwang drive Yacht. trucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kwang Yacht. I, hey, every time you say it, I, it triggers me. You I know. That's why it. I keep saying it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the, it. It just happens too. Wow. Dang. I really don't like it. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's cute because my uncle used to drive trucks, right? And... Um, I appreciate that they had a diner mm. in the nighttime because when they're driving, they need a place to they stop. They need the rest stop. One of those yeah. like, exactly. The rest stop with the plaza, fast food plaza, or like a diner that's open at, um, all night. So I appreciated that, especially the fact that it's in the nighttime. Um, and I have to say, someone thought they were really clever when they gave him a spotlight when he says spotlight during the bridge. <laughs> I sat there. I was like... Ew. <laughs> <laughs> a little too literal for you. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little too literal. But it was cute. And I do, like I said, like you said, rather, the ice thing, he made, they made it like a dial on his, his AC. It was all very well thought yeah. out. And this makes me think like, wow, you guys really, really do consider a lot of things when you do things for your artists. You don't half butt it, which I appreciate. I do not appreciate Kwangya being written down on one of those packages, like <laughs> made in China, made in Kwangya. I didn't like that. <laughs> Unnecessary. It was not made in Kwangya. Okay, it was made at the bottom of the water where Schumann's whole image was shoved down since 2012. <laughs> but you know what? It was made at the bottom of the ocean. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he performed well, but I will say there were certain parts of the video I noticed where either the dancers or him were just off. I'm not sure if you peeped it, but okay. there'd be certain... I have some <laughs> thoughts on Schumann's dancing in general, and I oh, always I'll... have. Oh. Um, and I've complained about this to friends before, so shout out to you guys mm -hmm. if you're listening. But I think, and I, it took me, I've been analyzing this. I've watched every single EXO concert, you know, both in Korea and Japan. Yes. I've done a lot of You've analyzing of this, okay? Right. I've seen them live, yeah. Okay, yes. I think Schumann has the opposite problem of myself. I am extremely uh -huh. lanky, right? I have long <laughs> limbs and I'm skinny. 
And yeah. so I can look yeah. very flaily sometimes when I do choreo. And I've had to learn, sometimes not that successfully, to try and adjust myself <laughs> to match people with more um, normal, well, not normal, more like just like generic, um, generic uh, body proportions. Okay. Yes. Um, Xiu Min is the opposite. He's a little stockier. His neck is quite mm-hmm. thick. Um, his limbs are kind of short. Like his whole body mm-hmm. is just kind of stockier. And the issue with mm-hmm. that is um, his dancers and a lot of the EXO members are are not that. So he always kind of stands out. Yeah. And it's not due to particularly to his actual dance ability. He's a great dancer. Mm-hmm. But when he does things, sometimes he's early or late. Or mm-hmm. um, there's just because his body proportion is different, he might just hit something and it just looks different. Yeah. And and so it's always been something for me since the beginning of EXO. I've always noticed it, that he would stand mm-hmm. out sometimes, not in the best way. Right. And um, I see the same in these performances as yeah. well with the backing dancers, unfortunately. Yeah. But again, it's, this doesn't take yeah. away from him himself, like as a performer, as a dancer and stuff. I think he's mm-hmm. good. But there's something with him needing to match the people around him. And I guess he might just have to work a little harder on that aspect. Right. Yeah. Right. No, I agree with you. I think he has a he has a little earth bending body. He's an earth bender. You know, I, and that sounds so weird. People are like, what are you talking about? But like for me, when I think about like with dancers, like if you take a someone who's, who's a short dancer, there is a from oh god from produce his name is Taeyun he was in JBJ mm. he was a shorter dancer but he could crump his little butt off okay he could crump his butt off but that's a lot more contractions a lot more popping a lot more just tighter movements you can make it bigger but everything's coming from your torso everything looks really cool with a shorter body if i do it i look a monkey swinging from a tree yeah you're quite lanky as well we have the same we have the same issues sometimes with that yeah yeah so that's why i don't try to do anything that's like very like you know nothing too much that's i'm not a crumper right um but yeah, he would he excels in like smaller, very much in the torso area movements. Like he can move his chest well. He can do that. Mm. But when he reaches or when he kind of extends certain things, uh, there was like a little move he do- does with his legs. They have to hop into it a lot faster, and he gets there because, you know, it's just he has less to move. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say again. He's a little earth bender. You and I a little bit more water bendy looking. You're more air bendy than me for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know this is very. I'm super what lanky. Are you talking about that's interesting. Yeah, is this like an avatar style. related thing? Or are totally. you just using? Oh, it is. Totally. Yeah. If you look at look at, okay, look at Cora for instance. She's a water bender by like by trade, right? I'm very physically like that muscular. I'm slender, but not skinny. Like, think about Aang. Yeah. He's long. He's lengthy. When he does his little, you know, <laughs> everything is, <laughs> yeah, everything is moving. The finger, the toe matters, right? So, like, you know, I would lean more toward water, maybe fire. You're more airy. Schumann, straight up earth. He can stomp and toff his way with the, with the honey badgers. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's that kind of guy. Doesn't mean he's a bad dancer. It just maybe means that this choreography <laughs> is a little bit more like, mm-hmm. it's, it's, not, it's not where he needs to be. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm like Beckyung could do this choreography a little bit more bouncy, a little bit more the in the pocket that it needs to be in. Yeah, he needs to have more choreography that's catered to him. He's still a good dancer, but he needs something that's more catered to him for sure. Yeah, and <laughs> I do think the choreography is fun for sure. It looks. Yes, I like how commercial hip hop it is. Um, oh my very God, so like easy. you know it's not easy, but... yeah it, it's very like advanced beginner hip hop class that we would take you know um, yes, which I yes. appreciate I mean that in a good way I mean that in a good way for sure yeah totally um, no seriously so yeah it's just interesting it's just something I've noticed mm-hmm. literally for the past ten years and so it's just <laughs> I'm curious if yeah like the his, just his body proportion and stuff you know it's just interesting I keep forgetting it's been ten years no I'm sorry that wasn't because of you it was because of like oh wow ten years right <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah. What would you rate this song? Um, okay, I'll give this song an eight because like I hear a little bit of like maybe this could have been Beckham's like when he was doing the candy thing, which is not a bad thing, but it's not a bad song either. He did it very well. Yeah. And he doesn't sound bad, it's like he's pushing. And also I'm very curious to know if he has like an artsy style, like we don't know about it, and if he's just playing it safe like shine like like Shiny's key did in the beginning, where it's like, Oh, here's some chill music. I wanna know if he has some other like oh. you know, dark stuff in him. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm you know, cause I feel like he has something in him. I mean, think about Mama. He did the screaming parts there, and then he does a bur, 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 lovely in, in tempo. Like, I feel like there's something in him that's like, I'm not just cute. <laughs> you know, like the little gleam in his eye. I feel like that's, that's in him. So, yeah, eight. <laughs> what about you? 
Yes, I will match you with an eight. Um, I am overall impressed, like I said, because he was never one mm -hmm. that I was really pining for solo material from. Um, <laughs> but yeah, totally exceeded my expectations. Um, yeah. I'm going to be honest, I don't see him doing something crazy <laughs> solo-wise. Um, like, he's not going to come out with a gasoline, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, I, I don't no. see that in him. I see him kind of just liking this kind of pocket that he's in at the moment. Um, oh, I want something dark. I so, like dark. I mean, I, I would love to be surprised, though. So, yeah. come on, ice person. What do you got? Ice, ice person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the final track for this episode is Fire by Exit. And this one was done by member L.E. and Shinsadong Tiger. So, Ooh. this is celebrating their 10th anniversary of their debut. What do you think yeah. of Fire? You know what? It is nice to have a grown woman group <laughs> somewhere on the charts. Um, mm, this is a talk I definitely want to have on our channel. Um, but yeah, I think that this beat is interesting because like it seems to stem from a vocal loop that they found, which is nice. I don't like, I'm not gonna do it. It's rude. Um, but yeah, the top line for Hani's part and the um, and the production around that area is nice. It's it's nothing crazy but also very typical exid or exit um what do they call themselves exid it's still not it's still not it's still not clear on the name yet i don't know what that is i still say like, exit i don't know if that's wrong exit right, right? I think yeah yeah um legos if you're watching this please let us know their, their fan name is lego um <laughs> not me knowing as if i wasn't like trying to join the fan club um but yeah i think the song definitely uh, touches upon the notes of you know their their earlier years and also has a little bit more of their like latter half where they were using like an edm kind of loop to be their main production for the chorus which is not my favorite um like that burna burna it kind of lost its steam right by the time the chorus came around um but by the time the outro came around uh, uh, for like the final you know burna burna section yes. it was a little bit more lively and i was like okay i can appreciate that um the song is definitely sexy so like production wise it's sexy even though the, the vocal delivery is pretty like sensual and very sassy um i think that's the thing that's missing in k-pop no matter how much companies try to force it down our throats with like sexy choreography or like styling like these girls are little girls but these are women actually singing women songs and being you know grown um the, the production of this song reminds me like by the by the chorus it reminds me of um banana lemons girls gone wild mm -hmm. where it's like you have like this awesome kind of bombastic very like driven verse and then it drops out by the chorus and you're just like oh man come on yeah. come on oh but yeah, what did you think about the production? Yes, I don't fully agree with you with that. I actually, I, I'm okay with the way the chorus actually drops in this case. Um, mm. I think given the whole song, I think the verses and stuff have enough going on that it works in that way. And mm. then, like you mentioned, the outro and, and the kind of the climax of it, it felt like the whole thing was leading towards that. Like, you know, as mm -hmm. a build of a song should be sometimes. And so... Yeah. I think I appreciated that the chorus was kind of more simple and then it kind of goes into this whole more driving, intense thing at the end. So I think it actually worked in mm -hmm. this case and I think it's better yeah. than the Banana Lemon yeah. song. But um, oh, Banana Lemon was just like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, but... <laughs> I did see some people making comparisons to the Black Eyed Peas for this song, kind of like Pump It mm -hmm. or Don't Funk With My Heart, you know, with oh, yeah. the Bollywood inspired percussion and instrumentation and then the vocal trail thing. Sample. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and I get that. Um, you know, I feel like this group always has a lot of plagiarism <laughs> stuff going on. Uh, but um, yeah. in this case, I don't think it's plagiarism. I think that's just you know that's just a sound. Um, in this case, personally, but um, I think the production has cool dynamics to it. There is this mm -hmm. click though that happens during some of the verses that I found very distracting because they're offbeat and they're only I think on the right side. I don't know if you heard that. Uh. But I found that huh. very odd. That was the only thing that kind of threw oh. me off in the dynamics of it all. Um, but yeah, I also like that vocally, there are there is a lot of range to it. You know, the, the pre-choruses mm -hmm. sound a little more sentimental, a little more emotional. Yes. But then parts of the verse and, then the cor and the hook itself is, of, of course, very sassy, which is what they're good at. Um, yeah. So yeah, what do you think of the vocals in it? 
I think the vocals is what saved it for me. Like, because production wise, if I sat here and listened to the song without their vocals, I, my yeah, that's fair. Would still, just be, yeah, you know. But that what you're saying, I'm like, yeah, yeah, because the vocals help guide it along very well. I mean, um, Ellie is the only rapper in the group, like only certifiable rapper. Yeah, Do the other members occasionally rap, yes, but the only rap pal in a group of five members is such a refreshing thing to hear, especially with all these girl groups now being driven toward rapping more than actually singing and only saving it for the chorus, as if you can't come up with a melodic top line throughout the whole song always bothered me um but i digress uh she is someone who's always had a hand in the group sound and knows what works for each member which is probably why they've sounded so good and yes. probably why they've always very consistently had the same kind of structure but has been but have been able to kind of like you know switch around a little bit maybe do something different i mean she knows what works for each of these members like honey she sings a little bit higher so it sounds a little bit sticky and like oh, sometimes but she does have a little bit of a rasp to her voice so when she sings lower like if like in ddd she speaks in her regular speaking voice in korean and ddd she's something in korean it's so low and you get that again by the chorus i mean the like the outro chorus mm -hmm. she says something super low and it sounds so hot and i'm just like oh uh, her tootsie line, mm, perfect. Literally, the top line of the first verse is so simple. It's about their delivery. And I think Soji and Haylin, vocally, they've always been able to kind of swap out. Even when Soji went missing for like a, her hiatus because of her um, her illness, Haylin was able to kind of, not even kind of, she was able to maintain both of the vocal parts. So they're very stable lead and main vocals. Yes. Um, And they always, they, they didn't stand out as much like sonically in a sense of like whose part was my favorite because sometimes you could pick out oh Soji's part here was like really hot or like you know the 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 whistle tone and lady that Halen did like you can pick those things out they didn't have moments like this um for me Chungwa and Hani stood out as lead vocalists and sub vocalists because Chungwa was singing in her chest voice instead of her like really bratty head voice it was cute when she was younger, but now that she's an older woman, it sounds good. So when she did that outro mm -hmm. chant for the chorus, it sounded good. You know, like there was a lot of things going on that drove the song for me. But I, but I think that is a testament to who they are as a group and how Ellie sees them. Yes. She understands what they do and they all understand what part they play. And it comes across very like uh, apparent and intentional. Yes. I think I think Ellie is such a star. She's such a she has just such a recognizable voice and style. Um, yeah. And yeah, she's really done a good job of even through all the lineup changes, making sure that their <laughs> vocal dynamics were always good in this yeah. group. Um, and yeah, I, can, I agree with everything you just said. I think they all hold their own and they all do a really good job. And, and yeah, the vocals really do elevate the song for sure. They've turned, you're right, they've turned what would be a mediocre song done by someone else into something maybe a little more, to be honest. Yeah. Um, any thoughts on the lyrics? Oh, yeah. I mean, the the whole like, you know, the Tootsie line? Oh, honey, I love that part. Honey, she did her thing. Um, and then, like, I got hot sauce in my bag. I mean, listen, Beyonce's reach is far and wide. Uh, the lyrics, the song's about being hot and being alluring, and the vocals of each member highlight the meaning behind the lyrics in each section. If mm -hmm. you get sentimental, you have Soji kind of bringing it, you have Halen kind of being kind of cold sexy. It's interesting watching them, like, transition the song, and, like, the only, like, warm-ish kind of sentimental person is Soji because that's the way she sounds. But again, her lyrics fit that part, and she's smiling even in the video, so it's nice to kind of see them talk about how hot they're being, but being like, I can take you to heaven, but let's go to hell first. I got hot sauce in my bag and everyone knows I'm hot. <laughs> Tabasco, like, come on, I'm a chili pepper. Like this, come on. And Ellie's like, who's the boss? You are, Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I that. love the confidence in it and it feels very yeah. authentic, which we always yes. love. Yeah, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, visually, um, I'm not a huge fan of glamorizing jail. Um, that tends what? to be very common you like in a lot of K-pop groups. Um, so it's never my favorite concept, yeah. but in this case, I think they did what they needed to do with it. Um, mm -hmm. I think just the five of them, they're very good on camera. 
um, all have a yeah. ton of star quality. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of some of the styling, and I'm sure you have some thoughts on those blurred out braids as <laughs> well. Um, <laughs> but I was not a fan of all the visual effects, like the red fire effects during the chorus. It all was uh, a little cheap for me. Um, and then the scene yeah. outside was a little predictable, though it did look visually cool i guess with the explosions and stuff because at least it was real fire um i think my favorite scene was probably just <laughs> on that staircase at one point with all the dancers on the stairs i thought that was oh cool. yeah that was nice when they but, worked um, that. yeah yeah not the most interesting video for me oh not you being uninterested i'm crying but you're so right though he's like yeah and the that part yeah <laughs> that's, that's what i, I feel mean like did you love it video. here's the thing about this one i recognize this jail scene from this jail has been used in so many videos deja vu by sonamu black swan recently with close to me the other girl group that had the girl group members inside the jail wearing cornrows which pissed me off we even had uh bra brown eyed girls doing six cents in this song like literally this jail has been used and used time mm. time and time and again um i do like the cells being decorated to hand fit hand fit yeah to like tailored to like honey's and ellie scenes like honey's in the room with the other dancers and then ellie has like this like shania twain <laughs> cheetah oh, situation sure. going on. yeah yeah you know that made it a little bit more interesting because you can you can kind of like customize your cell depending on the jail or depending if you're like on if you're on maximum security there's no customization at all but you know like <laughs> if you watch some of the movies like you've seen them like kind of decorated and granted listen here in america with the whole 13th amendment crap like that i'm not fond of jails being like it's fashion, it's not. And Gaga's probably the only person that's done it. I didn't even realize it was a jail cause it was just like, you know, not a fan of it, but like, come on, she, go, she yeah. yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, Hani with her braids, I feel bad because it's one of those situations where it's like, K-pop is never gonna stop doing it because they think, oh yeah, we can do it. It's just how it's not a big deal, it's whatever. But at this point, if you're gonna be an international thing and you, you have to care. Yeah, it is a big deal. It is whatever. Um, but I think with everything that happened with preparing it and getting the pictures and the costuming and everything together, by the time everything has reached us, it is what it is. Like people saw the photos and they blurred it in the video, which is nice, I guess. Like, wow, thanks for trying to take accountability. But again, by the time things were released, there's no way to reshoot it. So a lot of fans being critical, like, thousands of dollars goes into in music videos and hairstyling. Like people's schedules are not gonna be rearranged for your offended feelings. Like I'm grateful for the blur. It looks a little like lame because it's a video and you're like, what the hell's going on? But the fact that they did try to at least try to mask it, I appreciate, but there's no way I'm gonna expect them to reshoot the scene. What I would have liked if they would have just given her a fake ponytail with red highlights, like that solves all the problems. Like just actually have your natural hair texture be a thing. Um, so you don't have to be like, oh, am I? Am I doing the CA thing? Just have a ponytail, red highlights, keep it cute and keep it pushing. Like, keep it yeah. cute and keep it mute. Like, it just, it was <laughs> but I will say though, um, even with all the like the ugh, hoopla and whatnot, um, they looked good doing the choreography, which wasn't really complicated. But I mean, they're not known for sitting here out here like hitting all these oneies and a twoies. Yeah. which is nice. They're almost the um, opposite. They're almost known for doing yep. the basics, right? That's how they got famous really yes um, exactly so what did you think of the point choreo then did it do what you wanted it to do because for me it didn't really <laughs> the slow hip hips Handcuffed like with thing. the like yeah. uh, like leaning backwards a little bit not my favorite i don't think yeah. it really does what they wanted it to do uh no yeah but no. i appreciate the choreo for thing. overall i think um Yes. It's kind of nice to give them something easy. I think after, especially after what I said earlier about One Us as well, um, like it doesn't need mm. to be anything crazy in this case. It's more just about energy. Um, yeah. So I think they executed it well. And I and I liked especially the dynamics at the end with the dancers weaving in and out of them as they're doing like the outro choreo. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was a cool visual and they didn't need to change any of the choreo for that. It was just dynamic. So no, yeah. Yeah. What did you think? Yes. I think that's interesting too, actually. You're right. Um, uh, the girls aren't dancers. They're vocalists with presence. Yes. You get handography, you get hips and hair and intention. I don't like the handcuffed hip thing. I don't I think that's like one of their weakest, lamest thing I've ever seen in my life from them. But I will say the gaze that you got, it's like, you don't get this work. My body's not doing much, but my face is gonna, 
you know, y'all can't see me on the, and if you're listening, but I'm squinting. I mean, sm- see, the difference between a squint and a smize? I, I know I'm squinting. They were smizing. <laughs> <laughs> they were smizing. Um, the ending was fun with the whacking. That's the most complicated thing I've ever seen them do with their arms. Um, th- that was fun. But that's what the thing is about having background dancers do their jobs. I think companies are getting to this point where they don't want to pay background dancers, so they just have a bunch of girls in a group or a bunch of guys in a group. Because I'm just like, guys, come on. If they are singers and they're meant to sing, let the dancers do their jobs. Let them add to the picture, like Chris said, and make it look really dynamic and really cool. So when everyone leaves and the girl's just standing there, the silhouette is iconic. They're standing in a line and doing what girl groups do best, which is be iconic, as they say. Um, but overall, as a, as a song, what hmm. would you rate this? I will give it an eight. I'm very, re- I'm very happy that they reunited to celebrate their 10th anniversary because the end of their run was a little strange. They like kind of faded mm-hmm. away, but then they were still active in Japan. But it seemed like none Contracts, of them wanted right? <laughs> to be active in Japan because they were already kind of moving on with other things. Yeah. So that was a yeah. little bizarre. So I'm happy if this was closure or if this was just like, oh, we're still together, you know, kind of thing. I, I appreciate yeah. that. Um, and yeah, you know, I think, I think, like I said, Ellie is so talented. And, and so it'll be interesting to see what she continues to do, whether she keeps working with Tribe or with Shin Sedong mm-hmm. or if she does something else. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very curious uh, what they all do. Yes, yeah, so as long as she never says the N-word again, I think she'll be good. Um, I give this song an eight as well. <laughs> I've been a fan for them for so long and like that deep that I know that she's done that. It's very hard, to, not hard to find that video, but she's done it before. Um, but I think she'll be good. As long as she stops trying to like copy and appropriate things, I think she'll be good. Um, <laughs> Try B, I feel like it's probably her, her little babies right now. Are EXID going to perform this live? I don't know. They didn't show up on the music show today. Uh, right? But I don't know. We're filming this, like, what, the day after they released it? So, don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, 8 is going to stick there. It was nice to hear them again. And it's nice to see grown women be actually sexy and not having teenagers prance around like this. So, mm-hmm. again, it's appreciated. And I would love to have a talk about, a, you know, the infantilization, infant, whatever. The, infantilization. The infantilization. Infant- Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I just am struggling because of the pronunciation of each vowel. Oh, my God. English is hard. But anyway, I would love to talk about it, comparing things like this, because there's no more groups that can do what EXID does right now. Like Mama Moo is fading out right now. And there's no. They're about to come back, actually. Will we include them on our next episode? Maybe. You can help us decide. We will do polls and everything. You can join our Patreon, which they have a much bigger say. Uh, but we will yeah. put polls on all our socials as well, at CCTV Pops, and you can let us know what your favorite songs from September are as well. Uh, so please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell if you're watching on YouTube. And for our listeners, please give us a rating and review on your podcast platform of choice. Until next time, that's Jan. That's Chris. And we are CCTV. CCTV.